Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Red Shade Hunt. In front of us, we have a bag of two pound coins uh, from my local branch from the 8th of the 9th, 8th of September. Till the 4th. Is it sealed properly? I wonder. No, these bags, I don't know. Whether this is the bags or the way they seal them, or they just don't. Well, a lot of the time, don't seem to close properly. So it's fine as far as I can say. Means I can reuse them, take them come back to the bank. But it's just odd, in my opinion. There we are. Right, we'll hope there's 25 bags there. Because you know I'm not going to count them. Right, hang on up. Zoom in a little, and we'll crack on. Right. What are we looking for? Commemoratives, preferably ones that are over the face value. And hopefully, ones to go in the book. But, the start like that, and the fact that you only need two for the book, and they are very rare ones, sort of shatters your hopes more or less straight away, doesn't it? But you know, you keep looking. What else can you do? Well, there's our first commander, and it's the most common of all. It is the St. Paul's Cathedral, end of the Second World War. Not a bad thing. Mm. Not a good start, but you know, it is the way of things. Another bad thing. This one, very, very, very grubby technology, so that's fine. There's our second commemorative, the First World War Army Centenary. Another common coin. So the second or first, third most common. So, we will see plenty of. DNA, nice coin, but again, a common one. Nothing else. Last bag. Looks like it'll be 1507, after the operation of the slave trade, in pretty horrible condition. Nothing bag. Nothing. 
No, nothing back. Active Union, no rotation here. Oh, a Darwin. Technically, all for face value, that one, no. I've been keeping them in nice condition for a while. That one's sort of borderline on whether or not I will hang on to it. Now, for 1999, that is pretty spanking and probably worth a couple of quid. I wonder that one. It's not the best one I've got, surprisingly. But uh, all the same. Because in 1999, no bunks were minted. Um, because the Rugby World Cup two-pound coin was, uh, was put in to replace it, the, the technologies, Date runners will go mad for a really nice condition one. So, something worth looking for. Florence Nightingale, nice coin. But another one that is importantly only face value. Oh. Another Darwin. We're getting there now. Last couple of bags. St. Paul's Another St. Paul's. Three to go. Shakespeare's tragedies. And 
not that bad. Now we're on to the final bag. Well, the one we haven't seen so far today. Lord Kitchener. And another Florence Nightingale to finish us off. Well, what can I say? Nothing good really about that hunt, is it? The best being the technology, really. Hey, -ho, life goes on. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all on the next hunt. Bye for now.